Hey, Douglas here from Douglas Shoe Vlogs, and this bonus video today will be talking about Google. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a Green Bay Packers shirt, that's because Aaron Rodgers was just named the number one NFL player for 2012, so... Go, Pat, go! But that's not why you came here today. You came here to listen to me talk about my favorite tech company and the things that they talked about yesterday at their... Google I.O. Day 1 Keynote. So yesterday, Google was streaming this live, and f for the next two days now, they'll also be streaming all the keynotes and some of the developer conference things live at their website. Link will be below. And there's a lot that happened at that first day's keynote, and so I'll have different parts of the video below so you can jump around and listen to what you think is relevant to you. First up, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Well, they announced a lot of small enhancements in Jelly Bean from Ice Cream Sandwich. One of the bigger things that was announced was the Project Butter, and this is supposed to make the operating system work faster and more fluid. 4.1 also introduces easier to customize home screens, notifications so that you can do more in the notification bar, you can do offline voice typing, and what some people are calling the Siri competitor called Google Now. I wouldn't technically consider it a Siri competitor, even though it does talk back to you a little bit. It has what Google calls the Cards UI, so you'll see cards of information after um, clicking on the mic icon and then talking your question or what you want to search for. And you can just do that by pulling or swiping up. Just like you swipe down for notifications, you swipe up for the Google Now. From the hands-on videos that I've seen, this thing is fast and it looks like it would be great. The devices now can also kind of analyze your behavior so that when you're going to places or doing different things, it gives you recommendations. It'll keep you up on all the current stuff that's going on. And it just learns from you and kind of automatically customizes itself, which some people find kind of creepy, but that's really cool. And that's probably where the future of technology is headed. Also announced were enhancements to the Google Play Store. Now they'll be selling magazines, TV shows, and movies, as well as their music and books and the apps that they already had now for a while. And all that led up to the release of the Nexus 7 tablet. It's Google's official tablet, and it's going to be shipping in mid-July with Android 4.1 in a new interface and it's going to emphasize on all that new Google Play stuff. As the name suggests, it has a 7 inch screen and that includes a quad core Tegra 3 processor, 1 gig of RAM, and an HD 1280x800 screen. The best part about this is that the 8 gigabyte version is only $200! which. That is great. Uh, Google, you got the pricing right here. For all those specs, all the things they'll be able to run. Oh, I forgot to mention the front-facing camera. Also, $200, that's great. It's competing with the Kindle Fire people, not the iPad. Get that right. Even though it's going to be, it's just going to be a great tablet. On a side note, the Galaxy Nexus will be getting the upgrade to Jelly Bean sometime in mid-July. So mid-July is really where most of Google's things are happening. And they also, I don't think very many people mentioned this, they dropped the price on the unlocked HSPA Plus Galaxy Nexus to $350, which for me is fantastic, and it just might help me get one of these. So up to this part in the keynote, all the rumors that we'd heard before were correct. Then Google just blew everyone away. This was by far the best keynote that I had seen. And they announced two new devices and some new Google Plus features. First one we'll talk about is the Nexus Q. And it's kind of a 
new type of gadget, so I'm just going to try to explain it here. It's this cube, and it's they're describing it as a mini Android computer. It hooks up to your TV and your speakers, and then you can, it has like LED wraparound, I'll have a picture of it. And you, your Android phones and tablets kind of sync up with it. So then you can play your music in your TV. It's not actually going from your phone or your tablet to the Nexus Q. It's coming from the cloud, and you're basically controlling the cloud. And then the social part gets into it where you are you can have multiple people controlling it, making playlists for parties. And it'll cost $300, which is kind of expensive, but that's mostly because it was made entirely in the United States so they're kind of trying an experiment with that and that'll also be coming in mid-July. Speaking of parties Google Plus events was announced and but you can set up times and dates in Google Plus you know make a whole page with your party send out invitations and it all works with Google Calendar so people can just automatically add it and say if they're coming or not and then one of the cooler things is the party mode. So basically, you tell your phone that you're in party mode and every picture you take just gets uploaded to that page. So that everyone at the party can see what's going on. Guess I'll have to try it out sometime. And then in the middle of this Google Plus talk, all of a sudden, um, the Google co-founder rushes on the stage and he interrupts and all of a sudden this Google Plus live hangout goes onto the screen and there's these people wearing the project glass, the Google glasses, you know, and they have the camera and they're live streaming and they jump out of the blimp, they land on the um, ceiling of the convention center where everyone is, they hand off this package to these BMXers, they do some tricks then they hand off the package to these people that are rappling down the building and they come rushing into the whatever you want to call it, auditorium stage and they hand off the Google Glass package. And so what was lucky for the people there is that they could pay $1,500, only the people that were in attendance at Google I.O. yesterday. And they can be on the bleeding edge, and they can get the Google Glasses prototype early next year. So that's really cool, and I think that this is also one of the future applications. So we don't know anything too much about We know it has camera. It's all on one side. They're working so that it can put on your glasses, and it kind of sits like up here so that it's not directly in your line of sight. So it keeps you safer with that. My guess is that this will be on the market in about two and a half years, maybe. But it's exciting. This video is probably running a little long. But that was just your quick overall summary of Google I.O. Day 1 Keynote. That's when most of their stuff is announced. And of course, there will be a lot more information coming with Google for a while. I mean, this might be one of the greatest years of Google ever. So, we'll wait to see with that. Put your questions and comments below, and I'll see you later today for Nerf Thursday.